What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're gonna be spending a real day in the life with the LG G6. And in this kind of video, you're gonna be spending a full day with me and the G6 as we check out things like that new display, the form factor, things like performance, camera, all the things you wanna know about the phone and we're gonna see how it holds up in a real day of usage. All right guys, so we've got the G6 in hand and I actually have been on this phone for a good bit this morning because I've been responding to a bunch of you guys over on Twitter because I hit a million subscribers last night. So today I'm just responding to everybody wishing me uh, congratulations and stuff like that. So I've been on it for a good bit. Shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. Wouldn't be here without you. But we got to keep testing this phone. Uh, the battery is still showing 100%. I don't think I've been on it enough to knock down a couple of notches. So we're going to see throughout the day. See, that? my notifications are blowing up, folks. We're going to see how much the battery is impacted through daily use, all that good stuff. But we're going to find some breakfast first and get the day started. But before breakfast, I'm going to do a little plug here. If you don't know, I'm actually giving away a Nintendo Switch. Uh, I have a link to the video down below. Go check that out and get a free chance of winning one of these. They're kind of hard to come by right now. All right, guys, so breakfast is here, sort of. Still waiting on some toast. But I wanted to talk about the design of this phone. Uh, as you can see, LG went with a more premium feel for it. It's got some metal edges as well as like a glass back. But I'm, I'm still not sure if this is fully glass. It kind of feels like plastic too. But it's a glass back, uh, way smaller bezels. So the phone looks good, but my only problem is that it's slippery as all heck. And as you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet as well. So you know I'm gonna be dying to get a case on this just so I don't drop it or look at these fingerprints anymore. All right, so we've got a couple of spots to hit up today. Uh, first off, I'm going to New York. We're in an Uber right now. I'm going to the Nintendo store because I'm going to look for the best possible Nintendo Switch case that I can find. And then I'm going to actually head to a meeting with the CEO of Vmoda, Val Colton. Uh, they make awesome headphones. You guys know that. I rock their headphones all the time. But it's time to see what's next for them, see what new products they've got coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But um, yeah, we've got a long day ahead of us. Uh, this is like a, what, how long is this Uber ride? Probably like 40 minutes. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of time to kill. So I think I might as well play some games while I'm at it. Uh, see what that Dolby Vision screen is like. All right, guys, so something I'm really liking about the G6 is the screen. Now, apologies for the bumpy camera because we're in a car driving right now, but the screen is amazing, guys. It has these tiny, tiny bezels. LG did a really good job of keeping these really small and compact. And it also has these rounded edges. So I don't know if a lot of people will like that. Some people will probably like the traditional look, but this is a nice change of pace. I really do like it. And this is a quad HD display. Uh, like I said before, it has that Dolby Vision, so it has like HDR. But um, this is a really beautiful screen. Now guys, because this thing has an 18 by nine aspect ratio, uh, you probably can't see it, but there are letter boxes around the sides of the content. So it is different than what we're used to. Usually content is in 16 by nine, but it doesn't seem to be a big deal. Uh, since the borders are black, uh, it kind of just blends in with the bezels of the phone. So it's not too much of a big deal. So we made it into the Nintendo store and it looks like the Switch is kind of a big deal here. Time to find a good case. So Ari is hype because they got like Pokemon plushies here. So she's going to jump in. <laughs> this is all you, babe. It really is. Too bad I have like all of these already. You do. You have all. You have like every single one. But you know what? This is a perfect time to take some pictures with the phone. Oh, it's good. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick picture of this Venusaur over here. Grab that. Bam. All right. Since the G6 has some extra real estate, you can see some of the thumbnails of the pictures that you last took and jump in as you see fit. So that is a really awesome feature. You can kind of just jump in and see. And I gotta say, the camera quality is legit. LG's always been pretty good in terms of providing good cameras. And the 13 megapixel camera on this one lives up to the reputation. So some cases have been acquired. Uh, got some interesting Zelda ones over here. So it should be pretty cool. So the G6 also features that wide angle lens that you can switch to. So instead of having a close picture like this, I can get the whole thing in the shot and take my pick, which is really awesome. 
So we've got Mario over here, and I figure it's a good time to try out the front-facing camera, take a selfie with this guy since he's kind of famous. So let's see what that's like. And it also has a wide-angle mode, so we'll try that one out as well. Oh, this is crazy. So we're gonna use that thumbnail feature again. And this is a this is clean. I thought it would be a more okay. This one's a bit more overexposed. Wide angle one looks really good, but this looks pretty good. This would definitely qualify for an Instagram uh, selfie. Good job, LG. Now, while I really like the thumbnail feature where you can go back and look at your photos, I did notice that a lot of the times it would make the app crash. Uh, for some reason, I can't replicate it right now, but it did happen quite a bit already. So. I don't know if it's something because this is a pre-production model, but hopefully those kings get worked out before this goes on sale. This is so crazy. Right now, the reflection of the glass showing the people behind me makes it look like there are people in that uh, police van. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like uh, the guy left, but it looks like there are people in the police van. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back on track. <laughs> so right now, the phone has about 66% battery left. I think I've been using it, I think I had about two hours of screen on time. Let's just double check that. So yeah, about two hours and four minutes of screen on time. 66% uh, left. I'm using it at about 60% brightness, so battery life is decent. Um, nothing crazy so far, but it's been all right. Cool thing though, I happen to be at Starbucks while waiting, and this thing does support wireless charging. So I can just throw it on there, and then this guy will start to charge wirelessly. So after my meeting with Val, gotta head back home now. But something I noticed is that even with a lot of sunlight, when I have the max brightness set on this guy, I can see it with no problem whatsoever. Even when directly in the sun, I've got no problem with visibility. I can see everything on my screen without an issue. So really, really good for the screen brightness. You probably can't see that on camera, but take my word for it, it's good. All right guys, so we're back in the studio, but I gotta show you, I gotta get this off my chest. I am not crazy about the UI of this phone only because there is no longer an app drawer. So without the app drawer, you have all of your apps on the home screens. Uh, unless you, you're super organized and you throw them into folders, it's gonna be quite a hassle to keep things clean. Uh, me personally, I like to have my four folders at the bottom. If you saw my what's in my smartphone video, you know my layout, you know how I like it. But this one made me introduce a couple more folders. And honestly, some of the apps that I don't really use, some of the bloatware that comes on the phone, I just kinda had to just throw into random folders that you see over here. Now that might not be a big deal for some people, and LG does offer an option for a home screen with the app drawer, but let me show you what that looks like. So when you jump into the home screen settings, you can select the regular home screen, uh, a easy home, which is for like, honestly, older people or people who have a hard time seeing. Uh, there's also the home with the app drawer, which I'm about to show you, or some other homes that you might have. Now, home and app drawer. Let me show you what that looks like, guys. Look at the app drawer, guys. This thing takes up almost like a third of the screen. It's very, very weird that it's so large. Uh, you can throw some things at the bottom there so you can customize it a bit, but it's still weird. So even if you wanted, let's say you wanted to have all your regular stuff there, this still takes up way too much real estate in my opinion, and it just, it just doesn't offer a clean look. So to be completely honest, I do think I'm gonna end up using that Google Now launcher. I don't have mine set up just yet to fit my needs, but I will get that set up. Uh, I'm just glad that Android allows you to switch this up however you please. Now, a quick update on the battery. I've got about 33% left and it's 8.07 p.m. Uh, but let me show you guys what the screen on time is like. So going into the battery, see what the usage. So the screen on time, 20% of the battery was used up by the screen, and I used it for about three hours and 26 minutes. So three hours and 26 minutes of screen on time, and I wasn't using this at like max brightness. Uh, pretty much I try to stay around 60% in the brightness area. So this has, I guess, average battery life. It's got 3,300 milliamp hours, which is pretty decent. It's not bad. Um, I would hope for a bit more, but you know, It'll get the job done. All right, guys, so it's the middle of the night. Uh, the phone just shut off, but before it did, 
I ended up getting four hours and 34 minutes of on-screen time, which is actually pretty decent. It actually surprised me how long it lasted towards the end of its day. So uh, four hours and four and a half hours, can't really complain about that. But I gotta say, so far, I'm really liking this phone. Definitely the best LG has come out with. I think it's safe to say I love the direction LG took with the G6. It's got a way more premium feel than the G5 or the G4, and I think it does a really good job at seeming like a quality phone. The feel in the hand as well as the build quality is great on this phone, but what I'm not too crazy about is the glass back being able to get all those fingerprints. Now that might be because this is a black version. I don't know how the other colors will react to uh, fingerprints, but I'm not too crazy about what you'll see with the black. It makes me want to put either a skin or a case on it. Now, even though I'm not too crazy about the home screens of LG's skin, I do find the performance to be right where I'd expect it. Now, this thing isn't running the latest version of the Snapdragon processor, but I honestly don't find that to be a big deal. It was very snappy, uh, it handled everything I threw at it, so there's really no complaints aside the fact that it's not the latest Snapdragon processor. Now, in terms of performance in the real world, latest chip or not, I had no slowdowns or hiccups, and this thing ran super smooth for me throughout my time with it, so I have no complaints. Now, in terms of the camera, I gotta say I was really impressed. Being able to switch to a wide angle lens with the press of a button is an awesome feature. This makes getting certain shots a lot easier since you don't have to back up all the way. Just throw on that wide angle lens and you're able to capture way, way more. My pictures came out nice and sharp. However, I did notice that some of them were a bit overexposed, especially when it came to that front facing camera. But for the most part, it did the trick. And also being able to have that wide angle option for the front camera as well, is a nice touch. And I also really like the other features like expandable storage, the wireless charging, and it's even water resistant for those accidental spills. And honestly, it's looking like a great phone to pick up. However, I'd throw that Google Now launcher on there and not look back, but it is a very, very solid phone. And I definitely think that once it's released, a lot of people will be happy. But that was my day with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think of the G6 down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed it, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.